Okay. Well, that was fun. I just went on a massive spiel and I forgot to hit record on my main camera. Mm. Hmm. Coffee. So here we go. Happy New Year. It's 2022 and I'm making this video in a way to, to issue a challenge to all of you out there watching. And by way of example, I want to talk about sort of how I got to this place here and and what my challenge to to myself is for 2022 regarding music i've always been involved with music you know since i i got a drum kit as a young kid and you know music has always been very important to me in so many ways and i've always wanted to do something within music uh, within the industry and I've been trying to sort of find my way through there you know, I've played in, in bands, we've, we've recorded songs, we played live shows, and it's been awesome. But, uh, you know, I, I also started making my own music, which sort of blends a lot of my different musical interests, uh, from hip hop to rock to, you know, trip hop and, and down tempo and all these, these kind of other elements that basically form my means of, of, of expressing myself. But I never released them. So I've got all these these snippets, all these loops, all these ideas that that were sitting on my computer for for years and and throughout the years I would make more and I you know every time I sat down behind the machine or opened up pro tools or picking up the guitar loads of its crap for sure. I mean that's just the the way it goes, but there's some really good stuff, stuff that came out that I really connected with emotionally. But they all just stayed on the, you know, the hard drive never really released it. So so two years ago, at the end of 2019, going into 2020, I said, okay, you know what? If I want to have a career in, in music, in the music industry, I have to do something. I have to, I have to accept first and foremost that if I want to release my music and, and maybe someday make a living making music, then I have to accept the fact that people are going to be critical of it. You know, there are people who are not going to like it, but there are probably going to be people who will like it and, and who will connect with it in the same way that I, I connected with my, you know, with the music, with the songs. So, so for me, it was like, okay, I just have to do that. That's it. And so in 2020, I released my first EP, four songs that I had 90% done just sitting on, uh, on hard drives that I'd, I'd never released. And it was fine. And I, shared it with some friends and stuff and people were like hey that's cool cool stuff so i thought okay cool did it kept working my job kept doing my other stuff and then 2020 rolled into 2021 going into the second year of the pandemic and and i thought okay you know what for sure i want to do more of this and and I really sort of looked at the things that were holding me back. The biggest thing that was holding me back is myself and, and the jobs that I was doing, they, they took energy and they were taking life out of me. And I was using that as an excuse not to, to pile into music. But again, that excuse came from, from me. I think from that place of, if I really start releasing a lot more music, then there's a good chance that more people are going to hear the music. And somewhere along the way, someone is going to criticize me, is going to say, oh man, this song is crap or whatever. I had to overcome that. I have to overcome that. So, so I said, you know what? No, I'm going to release another EP this year. And so it did in August. I also decided that I wanted to start a YouTube channel happy ever music to reconnect with the music industry in that sense because i always sort of like was dancing around it i've been i've been following all the developments with streaming with payouts with all these kinds of things but never really engaging in that discussion so for me happily ever music is is really partly that way of connecting to um the music industry but i also started happily ever music because i i genuinely want to share my experiences as i go through and i'm i'm exploring releasing music as a you know self releasing music as an independent unsigned artist and you know with all the different choices out there and my experiences with making music as a whole uh, and and really in the hopes that these videos you know will be of help to to others who are coming up and and trying to find a way 
And, and of course, there's lots of videos out there on YouTube that, that talk about distribution and talk about this and talk about that and what you need to make it as an artist and, and so on and so forth. But the more voices, I think the better, you know, there's always that, that person that you, you watch, that you read, that you go, oh yeah, this guy is, is saying something that I connect with and that, um, that helps me see something and gives me that bit of information that I can take to, to accelerate and move farther along my path. So it's that, it's about joining the community, about talking and hopefully engaging in, in dialogue. My last video was a, was a rather strong opinionated critique of, of Tidal Music's fan-centered royalties that they're, they're bringing out in 2022. And I got my first dislike on a video as well as my very first angry comment on it. And when it first hit me, I was like, <gasps> It was, I, I felt all those feelings that, that, you know, the sort of anger that like, why, what? And then I thought, wait a minute, no, this is, this is part and parcel of, of putting myself out there, putting myself in front of a camera, you know, putting my music out there. It's the same thing. I'm, I'm putting myself, I'm expressing my ideas and there are people who are going to disagree with me. And that's totally okay. Of course it's okay. But it had to be okay for me and I thought actually this is good. So I I responded to the chap and we you know we we shared a couple messages back and forth and and he wasn't wrong. My my message was really sharp. But for sure title music you know they're one of the few services that do seem to be trying new things to give back to artists and to give more control into the artists. So even though I'm critiquing it and and I am critiquing it with the you know with the obvious goal of trying to push these conversations out into the open to to try to help initiate further change, uh, positive change, even <laughs> even if the video was a bit you know sharp and critical. But yeah, a bit of drama is necessary sometimes on YouTube, isn't it? People get bored with conversations like this. I don't, but some people do. But anyway, so so the thing is, it's good. I want to engage with people because they they help form my opinion. And they help give me insights that that I may not have. For me, that was such an important growth factor that I didn't get completely sucked in and, and consumed. I said, wait a minute, okay, I'm I'm at a point in my own with myself, with my own self-confidence, that I can I can receive some critical comments and and be okay with it and say, like, you know what, that's okay. I'm on the right track. I'm making videos related to music, but I also want to challenge myself to make more music in 2022. So for that, I've challenged myself to release one song every month. So at the end of 2022, I will have released in 2022, 12 songs. I was going to hold my hands up, but I realized there's only 10, 10 and two, 12. Of course, some of it is going to be piling through some of the, those, that backlog of ideas that I have and saying like, oh, this is a good one to develop. This is a good one. But the underpinning there is that I'm always going to be trying to come up with something new. So every month I'll be working on a new idea with this idea that I can reach out and grab one of these other songs that are sort of half finished, that I can pull one of those and, and dive into it to get those songs done and released so that I'm developing new ideas, some of them hopefully that will be released in 2022, but that I'm I'm still developing ideas while still being able to release new music. It's going to be challenging for sure, but it's, it's good. It's a way of, well, it's a challenge, so it should be challenging, shouldn't it? But it really is a, a way for me to move more towards what I want for for my life and now I know at least that I can I can do that I can release something and I can take criticism for it so so it definitely means that I'm in the right spot but it means that I have to stop coming up with those excuses to you know this song's not perfect this song is that or I just need more time or I don't have enough energy or whatever like all those stupid excuses that I was throwing out left right and center to keep from doing it I'm throwing them out and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do it because there's one thing that I learned in the pandemic is that life's too short. God knows what could happen in a year, in two years time. And if something horrible, catastrophic happens to me or to this planet, like if I, if I go out, I would like to go out knowing that, that I had the integrity for myself, towards myself 
to do what, what is important and what matters to me. And so that is my challenge for myself, but also my challenge for you. What is that step that you've not taken? That, that you've been sitting on? Is it is it tracks? Is it that song that you think is awesome, but you're you're afraid to release it because you're afraid of the criticism you will you'll receive? Is it approaching someone and saying like, hey, I dig what you make musically, let's start a band. What is the step that you have not taken that you really, really want to take, but haven't been able to yet? My challenge for you, take that step. The reality is I think that the, the consequence 90% of the time is going to be far less devastating than what you think it will be, what you build it up in your head to be. The reality is that it it's not as devastating as it will be. And, and once you get it out there, it's somehow, once you take that step, once you start doing that thing that you want to do, it's like a, a weight being lifted off of you. Really just do it. And let me know what it is that you're going to do. What is that step that you need to take? Let me know in the comments below and uh, let's keep talking about it. Let's find out how uh, how we do as the year goes on. Let's make 2022 a better year for sure than the last two years have been. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know where the like button is, you know what to do with it. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.